And do you still play, play golf? Uh, I haven't played golf for a while, actually. Do you miss it? Yes. Um, Because I think you have handicap six, you have? Yeah. Um, still have, or is it now? Still, yeah, still 6.4 or something like that. But, um, you know, that was, it was, that was what I wanted to be when I was younger. It was like I wanted to be a professional golfer. But I was never really into the whole kind of... Um, You know, golf is such like an upper class sport and mm -hmm. there's so many you know dickheads that come with that sport and um, I just kind of I don't know I just kind of lost all faith in it really but I do love playing it I just hate all the stuff around it really what is what is the best part for you what's the best part the best part of playing golf is it just well the swing at first or maybe the, 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 the tight shots um, everything really when I'm on a, when you're on a roll and like you fucking you're playing really well then um It's quite a. Uh, it fills. It fulfills some kind of existential kind of um, feeling in someone. It's like it's really like. I don't know. You just get an overwhelming sense of confidence when you're playing well at it. It's like it's not like any other sport really. It's kind of a. It's much more mentally demanding, yeah. but me mentally um, forgiving as well. You know. Because it's just you by yourself. Yeah, yeah. If you've had a shit day at home or you split up with your girlfriend, if you try and go to a golf course, you can't play because you just your head's not there but if you split up with your girlfriend and you go and play football maybe you run a bit faster or maybe you know you hit the ball a bit harder but with golf you'd just be crap that's I think that's what interested me about it really but let's not talk too much about golf <laughs> I, I thought maybe it's in, interesting um, no it is I love it I just don't know if uh, no and that's for me it's okay I don't uh, I just want to talk to you about the things that you yeah, like yeah, yeah. So, oh, that's cool um, on stage you said buy my CD I, I want to buy as many cars as Dave Grohl Do you know Dave Grohl? No. Um, what's his best car? I don't know. <laughs> he probably hasn't got a car, has he? He's probably a, an eco yes. warrior. I think I think he has eight chauffeurs, maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was just funny, um, you know, watching him being a part of a festival with such a huge band playing and stuff, and it's kind of uh, it just made me chuckle to think the amount of money that those guys must be earning, really. But. Uh, No, it was just a, it was just a little joke. A little really. joke. Um, do you do you like the Foo Fighters? Do you even like the band? Or the other two guys love them, um, and I think yeah, I do like some songs. It's kind of like a a band from my youth or whatever. But I'm not a massive fan though, and there was all the drum solos and stuff wasn't for me really. I was just like, oh god. But no, I think they're a really good band. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, well, uh, well, the album has been released. Do, do you find time now to, 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 to work on new songs, or is it really diff di difficult now? Um, I think everything's just basically the normal, because um, obviously when, when we're on tour all the time and then we come back, because I kind of, because I write the songs or whatever, then there's no real rest for me or whatever. I can't just go off and do things in the back of my head. It's like, fuck, you know, the second album, let's... I want to, you know, I want to, you know, I want to write an even better second album than our first, really. So uh, all my time off, whenever we've got a day off, is spent trying to write, really. But I don't like, I can't do it on tour. It's when I get home and, you know, I can relax in Liverpool or I'm in London with my girlfriend or whatever, then I try to write as much as I possibly can. Is it is it the same for you, writing songs? I mean, mentally, that you have to feel at ease as playing golf, maybe? Yeah, probably, yeah. It's two very similar things. It's kind of like when you start getting stressed and worked up about, you know, oh shit, I've got to write another Let's Dance to Joy Division on Moons New York and stuff like that, then it never happens. You're trying too hard. It's just, you just got to um, write, just write what you want to write about as opposed to any preconceived ideas of hit songs in the future or whatever. You just can't think about stuff like that. Um, I don't think you can plan to write a, a big song. You just, uh, you just got to keep writing and one of them will be big.